The Tibetan Buddhist canon is a loosely defined list of sacred texts recognized by various sects of Tibetan Buddhism. In addition to Sutrayana texts from early Buddhist mostly Sarvastivada and Mahayana sources, the Tibetan canon includes Tantric texts. The Tibetan canon underwent a final compilation in the 14th century by Bhutan Rinchen Drub the Tibetans did not have a formally arranged Mahayana canon and so devised their own scheme which divided texts into two broad categories Kangyur Wiley, BKA, Gyur, or translated words, consists of works supposed to have been said by the Buddha himself. All texts presumably have a Sanskrit original, although in many cases the Tibetan text was translated from Chinese or other languages. Tengyur Wiley, B Stan, Gyur, or Translated treatises is the section to which were assigned commentaries, treatises, and Abhidharma works, both Mahayana and non Mahayana. The Tengyur contains 3,626 texts in 224 volumes. <laughs> Kangyur The Kangyur is divided into sections on Vinaya, Perfection of Wisdom Sutras, Avatamsaka, Ratnakuta and other sutras 75% Mahayana, 25% Nikaya, Agama or Hinayana, and Tantras. When exactly the term Kangyur was first used is not known. Collections of canonical Buddhist texts already existed in the time of Trisong Detson, the sixth king of Tibet. The exact number of texts in the Kangyur is not fixed. Each editor takes responsibility for removing texts he considers spurious or adding new translations. Currently there are about 12 available Kangyurs. These include the Dirge, Lhasa, Narthang, Khon, Peking, Urga, Fudrak and Stog Palace versions, each named after the physical location of its printing or copying in the case of manuscripts editions. In addition, some canonical texts have been found in Tibo and Dunhuang which provide earlier exemplars to texts found in the Kangyur. The majority of extant Kangyur editions appear to stem from the so-called Old Narthang Kangyur, though the Phuktric and Tawang editions are thought to lie outside of that textual lineage. The stemma of the Kangyur have been well researched in particular by Helmut Eimer and Paul Harrison. History Origin <inaudible> 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 From the 7th century onward, existing literature were compiled and catalogued from time to time which later extended, upgraded, classified, reorganized and put in different sets of different collections. A separate set of translation works was regrouped into two major collections popularly known as BKA Gyur and B-Stan translation of Buddha's discourses and translation of commentarial works respectively. The very first Tibetan catalog was introduced during the period of the 39th Tibetan king Khrilde Srong Bt Sen, also known as Sad Na Legs M Jing Gyan who issued decrees requiring all translation works that were extant in Tibetan from their Indian original to be catalogued and subjected to be recurrently reviewed and to set guidelines of terminology in order to standardize all translation works. A team of Indian and Tibetan scholars was assigned for the purpose. As a major step in this remarkable attempt at literary standardization, the bilingual glossary known as the Mahavatpati was successfully accomplished in the Tibetan horse year 814 CE. Another great achievement was the cataloging of the collections then available in royal libraries of the three famous Tibetan palaces under the supervision of the famous translator Bande Ska Ba Di Palbritsegs with help from his colleagues, Bande Chos Ki Snying Po, Lo Tsa Wa Bande de Benhara, Bande Lhun Po and Bande Klu D Bang Po etc. The earliest catalogue compilation was recorded from the manuscript of the royal collection housed in the Palace Phu Brang Thang Thang Ka Med Ki Gtsug Lag Kong in the Tibetan Dog Year. 818 CE This cataloguing work became famous by the name of the palace and known as Dkar Chag Thang Thang Ma. Soon afterwards two further catalogues of collections available in two other royal libraries Phu Brang Bsam Yas Makims Phu Ma and Phu Brang Stong Thang Ldan Dkar were compiled and came to be known as Dkar Chag Makims Phu Ma and Dkar Chag Ldan Dkar Ma respectively. Dkar Chag Ldan Dkar Ma was compiled in the Dragon Year 824 CE. 
Among these three catalogues, LDAN DKAR MA, included in the volume Joe of SNA SOGS in SDEGEBKA, B -STAN, is generally believed to be the only surviving so far. But recently a manuscript of DKAR Chag Thang Thang Ma is discovered and published from Tibet. It contains 961 titles listed under 34 subject headings with additional information of numbers of verses and Bampo that contains in each text. The LDAN DKAR Ma catalog comprises 735 titles and listed under a category of 27 subject headings. An interesting unique feature of Tibetan catalog is that, alongside information about the source material of translation and the bibliographical details, it gives in physical descriptions, such as the nose, of words, verses, canto bampo, and folios pages in each of textual contents. Thus today we have a record of 73 million words contained in the BKA Dür and B Stan Dür collection. According to the latest edition of Dharma publication, the BKA Dior contains 1,115 texts, spread over 65,420 Tibetan folios amounting to 450,000 lines or 25 million words. Likewise, the B-Stan Dior contains 3,387 texts using 127,000 folios amounting to 850,000 lines and 48 million words. The sum total of both these collections is 4,502 texts in 73 million words. By fixing Bampo to verses and to words of each of the textual contents, the individual works are interpolation and alteration. This further strengthened the authenticity of Tibetan Buddhist literature. These are the first Tibetan catalogues in three versions that were compiled and published in the beginning of the 9th century by the great Sgra Sagir Gi Lo Tsa Wa Bande Ska Ba Di Palbrit Segs and his team. Tibet, thus, becomes the earliest to accomplish catalogue as inventory in the history of evolution of catalogue. Bande Ska Ba Di Palbrit Segs is thus, honoured as the pioneer of the Tibetan system. All the later compilers of the Tibetan canon based their works extensively on Ska Ba Di Palbrit Seg's creation. After the period of suppression during the reign of King Glong Dar Maz which brought the first chapter of the history of Tibetan literature to an abrupt end, the second phase in its development is reactivated. Since the beginning of 11th century onward Tibetan translators together with Indian Panditas once again resumed their literary activity to bring about a new chapter to be known as the era of new translation and also revival or later promulgation of Buddhism in Tibet. In addition to the previous works Tibet has produced a huge literary wealth both in terms of volume and range of coverage by the 13th century and this growth imposed to carry a fresh comprehensive bibliographical record and control existing literature. Topic later period In the mid-13th century a student of BCOM LDAN Riggs RAL 1200, Jam Gag Pak Shi, also known as McKim's Jam D Pal D B Yangs, minus 1267, who was the state priest of the Mongol Emperor Ching Sung, had managed to collect some amount of writing material and sent to his master with request for organizing and preparing catalogue of literature that were scattered all over Tibet. BCOM LDAN Riggs RAL with the help of his pupils DBU Pa Blo GSAL Byang Chub Yi Shis, Lo TSA Wa BSOD Nams Odd Zir and Ergyang Ro Byang Chub Bum, surveyed various parts mostly covering central and western Tibet. Authenticating and rectifying, they carefully scrutinize all the manuscripts of old and new translations and arrange them in order, compiling a comprehensive catalogue of a proto BKA Gyur and B Stan Gyur. The catalog was prepared into two sets of collections, entitled the DKAR Chag B Stan Pa or Gia's Pa and DKA Gyur Gi DKAR Chag Nyi Mai Ad Zir respectively. Classification of Tibetan Buddhist canon or translation works into two main classes as BKA Gyur and B Stan Gyur is basically derived from this catalog. Jam Gag Pak Shi was once again able to gather some good amount of writing materials and sent to Tibet with the requesting to re-inscribe all manuscripts and set in separate volumes. Dbu Pa Blo Gsal Byang Chub Yi Shis, who was the disciple of both Bcom Ldan Riggs Ral and Jam Gag Pak Shi, was entrusted for this new task. He with colleagues, dutifully accomplished the work and published for the first time a complete and new set of volumes of BKA Gyur and B Stan Gyur and placed at a temple, Jam Lha Kang of the Snarthang Monastery which later became famous as Snarthang Edition. 
Unfortunately, both the catalogues and volumes of this hand-written oldest edition of the BKA and B stand are no longer available. Topic catalogues of Buddhist collections in royal palaces Lhan Dkar Ma, Ldan Dkar Ma found in later Kanjars Fang Thang Ma recently rediscovered Makim's Bu Ma lost topic Later catalogues Grags Pa Urgeel Mt Shan 1147-1216 Bcom Ldan Rig Drow 13th century Fags Pa Blo Gross Urgeel Mt Shan 1235-1280 The Tibetan part of the Chinese Tripitaka Zonghua Da Zhang Jing Zhonghua Da Kang Jing was published in 2008. Topic Kangyur versions Old Narthang Kangyur thought to have been a Ms. collection with multiple copies of texts not surviving. The versions Yongle, Yang La Ban Wang Li, Wan Li Ban Lithang, Li Tang Ban Li Zhang Ban Kangxi, Kong Shi Ban Beijing Ban Joli, Zhou Ni Ban Dirge, Dei Zhe Ban Narthang, Na Tang Ban Erga, La Jia Ban Kulin, Ku Lun Ban Lhasa, La Sa Ban Walla, Walla Ban and Kamdo Chongdo Ban are in printed forms. Chal Pa lineage These are all woodcut editions. Younglo Kanjur 1410, largely lost. Wanli Kanjur 1606, largely lost, but available via 1680 Berlin Ms. copy. Lithang Kanjur 1608 to 21. Kangxi Kanjur 1684 to 92, with several corrected reprints. Kone Kanjur 1721 to 31. Narthang 1730 to 32 with contamination from them Spang's Ma line. Dirge Kanjur 1733 with contamination from them Spang's Ma line. Qianlong Kanjur 1737. Erga Kanjur with multiple contaminations. Lhasa Kanjur with multiple contaminations. Topic. Them Spang's Ma lineage. These are all manuscript editions. Shell DKAR available via London Ms. copy 1712. Tokyo Ms. Kanjur 1858 to 78. Stog Palace Kanjur manuscript C170050. Ulaanbaatar Ms. Kanjur. Topic. Local Kanjurs. Bathang Kanjur Ms. Mustang Kangyur Miz Fug Drak Kangyur Miz 1696 to 1706 Tabo Miz fragments individual texts not apparently a complete Kangyur Tawang Kangyurs two copies extant Topic Mongolian version Topic Manchu version Topic Sigla The following sigla are regularly used in scholarly editions of Kanjur texts. Chal Pa Group B. Berlin Kanjur C. Kone Kanjur D. Dirge Kanjur J. Lithang Kanjur Q. Peking Kanjur R. Ragya Kanjur U. Erga Kanjur Them Spangs Ma Group L. London Kanjur S. Stog Kanjur T. Tokyo Kanjur V Ulaanbaatar Kanjur Z Shay Kanjur Topic Tangyur Dirge Kone Narthang Peking Golden Topic Publication and issues of the Tibetan Buddhist Canon A number of catalogues have been published. Tohoku University, ed. 1934. A complete catalogue of the Tibetan Buddhist canons, SDEDGE edition, Tohoku University. Non collected works Dunhuang Tibetan manuscripts, Dongkang Canon, Dongkang Wu Bai Bu Nyingma Gayubam. 
The Treasury of Precious Termas or Rinchen Terzou is a collection of secret Nyingma Buddhism texts gathered under rhyme movement published in 63 volumes by Dilgo Khyentse Rinpoche, New Delhi, India, with the addition of several more volumes of termas and commentaries. Dujom Tursar not included into Rinchen Terzou. Bon Kangyur Topic. Generic classification of canonical texts Topic. Exoteric or sutra tradition In the Tibetan tradition, some collections of teachings and practices are held in greater secrecy than others. The sutra tradition comprises works said to be derived from the public teachings of the Buddha, and is taught widely and publicly. The esoteric tradition of Tantra below is generally only shared in more intimate settings with those students who the teacher feels have the capacity to utilize it well. Esoteric or Tantra tradition Tantra categorization by the ancient translation school The collection of the Tantras of the Nyingma is known as the Nyingma Gayubam. The division used by the Nyingma or ancient school Three Outer Tantras Kriya Yoga Charya Yoga Yoga Tantra Three Inner Tantras, which correspond to the Anuttara Yoga Tantra Maha Yoga Anu Yoga Atta Yoga Tib. Zogchen, further divided into three classes Mental Semd Spatial Longed Esoteric Instructional Mengaj Topic. Tantra categorization by the New Translation School The Sarma or New Translation Schools of Tibetan Buddhism Gelug, Sakya, and Kagyu divide the Tantras into four hierarchical categories, namely Kriya Yoga Charya Yoga Yoga Tantra Anuttara Yoga Tantra Further divided into Mother, Father, and Non-Dual Tantras Topic. Mother Tantra The Yogini Tantras correspond to what later Tibetan commentators termed the Mother Tantras Ma Rgyud. CST, p. 5. Topic. Father Tantra In the earlier scheme of classification, the class Yoga Tantras includes Tantras such as the Guyasamaha, later classified as Father Tantras, Phargyud, placed in the ultimate class. Unexcelled Yoga Tantras, Rnal, Byor, Bla Med Ki Rgyud, CST, p. 5. Topic. Nandal Tantra or Advaya class Manjushri Nama Samjiti Kalachakra Lagatantra Topic. Authors of the canon In addition to texts attributed to Shakyamuni Buddha and other Buddhas, the Tibetan Buddhist canon specifically the Tenjur, contains a number of commentaries composed by Indian authors. Below are the authors the tradition holds to be of paramount importance. Topic. Important Indian scholars Topic. Two Supremes Asanga, founder of the Yogacara Philosophical School Nagarjuna, founder of the Madhyamaka Philosophical School Topic. Six scholarly ornaments Aryadeva, foremost disciple of Nagarjuna who continued his Madhyamaka philosophical school Dharmakirti, famed logician, author of the Seven Treatises, student of Dignaga's student Isvarasena, said to have debated famed Hindu scholar Adi Shankara Dignaga, famed logician Vasubandhu, Asanga's brother Gunaprabha, foremost student of Vasubandhu, known for his work the Vinayasutra 
Sakyaprabha, prominent exponent of the Vinaya. Topic: Seventeen Great Panditas. References are sometimes made to the seventeen great panditas. This formulation groups the eight listed above with the following nine scholars. Atisa, holder of the Lojong teachings Bhavivaka, early expositor of the Svatantrika interpretation of Madhyamaka Buddhapalita, early expositor of the Prasangika interpretation of Madhyamaka Kandrakirti, considered the greatest exponent of the Prasangika interpretation Haribhadra, commentator on Asanga's ornament of clear realization Kamalasila, 8th century author of important texts on meditation Santaraksita, abbot of Nalanda, founder of the Yogacara Svatantrika Madhyamaka interpretation who reputedly helped Pamamsambhava establish Buddhism in Tibet Shantideva, 8th century Indian author of the Bodhisattvakaryavatara Vimuktisena, commentator on Asanga's ornament of clear realization Topic. Five traditional topics of study Study of the Tibetan Buddhist canon is a focal point of the monastic curriculum. All four schools of Tibetan Buddhism generally follow a similar curriculum, using the same Indian root texts and commentaries. The further Tibetan commentaries they use differ by school, although since the 19th century appearance of the Rime movement scholars Jamgon Kongtrul, Jamgon Ju Mipham Gyatso and Kenpo Shenga, Kagyupas and Nyingmapas use many of the same Tibetan commentaries as well. Different schools, however, place emphasis and concentrate attention on different areas. The exoteric study of Buddhism is generally organized into five topics. Listed as follows with the primary Indian source texts for each Abhidharma Asanga's Abhidharma Samakaya Vasubandhu's Abhidharma Kosa Prashnaparamita Abhisamayalankara Shantideva's Bodhisattvakaryavatara Madhyamaka Nagarjuna's Mulamadamakakarika 400 verses on the yogic deeds of bodhisattvas by Aryadeva Kandrakirti's Madhyamakavatara, Santaraksita's Madhyamakalamkara, Shantideva's Bodhisattvakaryavatara, Pramana, Dharmakirti's Pramanavartika, Dignaga's Pramana Samakaya, Vinaya, Gunaprabha's Vinayamula Sutra. Topic. Five treatises attributed to Maitreya. Also of great importance are the five treatises of Maitreya. These texts are said to have been taught to Asanga by Maitreya. According to the Buddhist tradition, he is the future Buddha who currently resides in Tushita heaven. Some scholars, for example, Frauwalner and Tucci, believe Maitreya was a historical person who had to be Asanga's teacher, and comprised the heart of the Shentong Madhyamaka, as well as Yogacara school of philosophical thought in which all Tibetan Buddhist scholars are well versed. They are as follows. Abhisamayalankara Mahayanasutralankara Ritnagatravabhaga Dharmadharmatavabhanga Madhyantavabhanga commentary on the ornament for clear realization called clarifying the meaning by the Indian scholar Haribhadra is often used, as is one by Vimuktisena. See also Notes Topic. External links 84.000, Translating the Words of the Buddha, this is a global non-profit initiative led by scholars and acknowledged translators to make the Kangyur and Tengyur available to everyone, in modern languages. Contains translations and information on the Buddhist canon. Tibetan canon The Tibetan Buddhist Resource Center Digital Library Tibetan Buddhist Texts Lotsawa House Translations of Tibetan Buddhist Texts Overview of Typical Kagyu Shidra Curriculum The Translation of Buddhism in Tibet Review of the Sound of Two Hands Clapping, The Education of a Tibetan Buddhist Monk This title provides a first-hand account of the monastic college experience, with much information about the practice of scholarship. Focused on the Gelug tradition. An account of the various editions of Kangyur and the results of their collation.